Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this exercise, you'll add a watershed legend table to the drawing. This exercise continues from the previous one and uses the same exercise file. So let's go about creating a watershed legend table. This exercise continues from the modifications you made from the last exercise in Surface 5A. So let's get started. Go ahead into your tool space and click on the settings tab. Now you'll notice that we have some other types of styles within our surface style. Click on and maximize the table styles and maximize the watershed. Then go ahead and right click on standard and select edit. Now we're in the table style dialog box. Go ahead and click on the data properties tab. Now if it isn't already you have to make sure that the sort data is cleared out and unchecked. Then click OK. Next, go under the Annotate tab, select the Add Tables button, and click Add Surface Legend Table. Next, we have some prompts down here in the command line. Go ahead and select Watersheds. Next, you're prompted to specify whether you want the table to be automatically updated if the analysis information changes. Go ahead and enter dynamic because we do want to enable automatic updating. So now if a change is made to the surface and the watershed analysis is regenerated, the legend is automatically updated. Next it's asking us to click a location in the drawing where you want the upper left corner of the table. I want the legend table to be displayed over here. So now you'll see what we've got going on here. So that's how you go about creating a watershed legend in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.